Hello, I'm Dr. Mitters and this is... This is... This is... to the extent to which people think about the arguments contained in the persuasive message. According to the elaboration likelihood model, there are two central routes that lead to attitude change following exposure to a persuasive message. The central route and the peripheral route. The central route includes the person using effortful cognitive processing. This means a more permanent attitude change will occur. Attitude change via the central route will only occur if there is motivation and the ability to process the message. Less mental effort is required with the peripheral route. Change occurring through this route is likely to be temporary. The likelihood of elaboration here is low, with individuals not thinking much about the message content. Instead, they use non-content cues to inform their attitudes, such as attractiveness and likability. Lean outline factors that influence the individual's ability to think about the message and therefore be persuaded by it. The more times an individual encounters a message, the more opportunities there are to examine the argument. This will lead to a more favourable attitude as long as the repetition doesn't produce boredom. process information is influenced by what they already know of the product. The more knowledge someone brings to a message, the more they will be able to think about the message content. <laughs> Another factor is self-referencing. Elaboration is best when the recipients can relate to the information themselves. Thinking about themselves increases the likelihood of linking new information to existing knowledge. However, self-referencing only has an effect on the persuasiveness of an advert when the recipient has the motivation to attend to it. I don't need to listen to that guy because I'm fit and healthy and my PMI is the worst thing. I mean, there's this new program called Laughing Live that's like really, really cool. I mean, we have been watching this for like 27 hours. Well, uh, you know, no, I'm more 
up watching this. I'm pretty aroused by it, so uh, we're just, you know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it on for a little bit longer. Media type demonstrates that TV is more influential because it uses a wider range of senses, which encourages processing in either the central or peripheral route, whereas mediums such as radio or on paper does not. Hello, and this is Ruth Lovell talking for the nine o'clock news, and tonight the latest story. There has been a recent upsurge in violence and bad crimes which involve hurting people. And I am here to tell you that as for half of the news, violence is bad and you should not do it under any cost or circumstance whatsoever at all. Wow, that news report made a lot of sense. I'm never going to use violence ever. Good call. This will be great for our home video. Yeah. How come I can never find any good tunes on the radio? So annoying. Oh my god, Joe! Look at the myelometer! It's all nines! Yeah. Oh my god! Something freaky is going on, guys. Uh. We're nearly there, Joe. It won't be long. Oh my god, we're gonna go from a vortex! Oh my god! Ah! I know. Oh look, we're here. Everything is okay. Everything. Coming. <laughs> look at them mugs in that car over there. What do they think they're wearing? And what are you gonna race, mugs? <laughs> look at those people turning up to our turf. Who do they think they are? Thinking they can beat us in that pile of horse poo? Yeah, who are you calling mugs, cups? Yeah, we all have superpowers. We can take you down. Yeah, I can live under the sea in a pineapple. What can you do? Yeah, and <laughs> I can fling webs and kiss people upside down. I have laser vision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have handled the epic battle with the uh, Sandman in the third film a lot better than you did, exactly. Spider-Man. It was really bad. And by the way, the guy that played the um, the black Spider-Man, he was so much better than you. And he was so much hotter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and he had, a, he had a firmer backside as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you mention that to Spider-Man, he's really sensitive! Robert Pattinson could never replace me in the fourth film. That epic battle was epic! Yes. I am so angry. I'm so angry! You're going down to Chinatown. You're going down like an elephant in a lift. You're going down to fucking town, yeah! This goes out to Miss Coconut Me. Let's show those bozos how it's really done. 